Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do an update for Pisces. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the end of March. So, you know, timing is fluid. It is what it is. Let's just see what we got. We're going to start right here with this deck. What do we have for Pisces for the end of March? I think you are probably feeling a little unclear with the situation, whatever's going on. Things are seeming a little muddled. It's like, oh, what's up next? What's going to happen next? I'm very confused. I'm not happy about this. Um, ooh, is my future stable? Uh, should I keep doing this? Uh, that kind of energy. I think that you're probably really, really uh, going through a hard time, doing a lot of overanalyzing, thinking, um, fear. There's definitely a lot of fear here. Wondering if, you know, uh, there's, I don't know, maybe you're worried, really, really, really worried, uh, worried about the future, worried about the, your, your, your future. I see a lot of worry here, a lot of, uh, discontent where I'm very, very worried. I'm not worried, but I think you are, you know what I mean? You are very, very worried. Perhaps you're fearful of, uh, what's, what's, you know, living, making a living, um, is this going to be successful? Am I going to, is this, am I going to be able to su survive? Am I, am I going to survive? You know, that kind of thing. Strength, strength, strength is a card of survival. All right. So this is the need to master your emotions. Even if right now you're feeling, uh, stuck, you know, uh, you need to get creative, get creative to expand yourself. I think that you have a lot to uh, be excited about. I don't let fear and worry get in the way. Uh, you have a you have a long life ahead of you by the looks of things. Things you may seem like things are a little paralyzed right now, or or things are a little stuck, but. Um, I think that your strength will persevere. I think that you, your ability to master your emotions and rise above this current situation is going to prevail. I think that, you know, even though th you, things may be a little different or, um, you're in a situation that is, uh, making you feel, uh, uneasy and uncomfortable, uh, doubtful. I feel like you don't have anything to worry about. I think you also have somebody around you that is very loyal. Okay. Cause this is, this, the dog is represents loyalty. I think it's a friend. Okay. I think it's a friend. Dogs symbolize a loyal friend. So I think you do have a loyal friend around you that is going to stand beside you and help you through this difficult time, whatever, whatever is going on with you. Um, what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Have no fear. Okay. That strength is a card of have no fear, have no fear. Emperor reverse. Now I don't know if you are dealing with an Aries. You could be. Could be. This could be a husband. Could be a masculine. This person um, is. I mean, the emperor in reverse is a business owner, or a boss, or somebody like that that is is engaging in criminal activity. They're only out for their own good. They're power hungry. They desert you in the time of need. Somebody that is controlling, very entitled, not experienced, mean on the wrong side of the law. This guy, it looks like this guy is going down. This guy is going down. It could be you if you're the masculine. This is the masculine energy that is going down. And it looks like the, I feel like this is the feminine here. The feminine is yeah, she's been hurt. Okay. She's been hurt. There may have been an accident or something like that, but there's a lot of life left for this feminine. Okay. This is the strength to overcome. This person is gaining strength. They're gaining power. They're getting their strength back. So somebody is getting their strength back. This guy is losing his power, losing his power over this person. Um, this is a, you know, I don't know if this is a business owner. This could be a business owner that is, is losing ground. Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is um, 
socializing. I don't know if this person is talking with other people. This is a third party situation. Um, heartbreak, heart, heart pain. So we have, this is a reunion, a reunion or a celebration of some sort, socializing, um, communicating, but this is heartbreak, okay? So there's some sort of uh, heartache, heart pain. This is a painful separation. So somebody may be experiencing a painful separation here. They may be grieving. This may have to do with a father or a husband or somebody, a boss. I don't know. This is some sort of socializing with more than one person. So somebody, I wonder what the hell is going on here. Ah, oh, there's a loss. There is a loss. We have a loss. A big, huge loss. Loss of stability. Loss of security. Throwing something away. Somebody uh, made a poor choice. They didn't plan. This is unplanned. Somebody did not plan effectively. There's definitely a higher power involved. This higher power sees all. You know, this, this, this hand is pointing up at this Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a third party situation. I don't know if it's cheating or socializing on social media. Um, we definitely have a painful situation that is about to happen. There's a higher power involved. Um, end of a contract. We have a contract that is coming to an end. This is a separation. This is a separation. Could be a commitment. Could be a marriage. There's been somebody else involved. Three's a crowd. Three's a crowd. This guy deserts you in the time of need. Uh, this is something going away. It is. It is. Somebody wasn't being realistic. They weren't being real. They weren't being practical. Lost opportunity. Somebody has lost an opportunity. This Hierophant, this is the higher power. This is part of the plan. This is like God, okay? This is a godly energy. The Hierophant is a godly energy. This is a higher power. It's like your gut. This is access to God. Something about a church. There could be an upcoming celebration at a church, okay? This is a celebration. This is a church. Now, the Hierophant is also a teacher or a counselor or a mentor. Somebody may have some good advice for you. They, now, there's something, but this is the end of a contract. The lovers reverse. Somebody made a poor choice. They made a poor choice. And that's the meaning of the card. So, this is a conflict. There's disharmony. There's a disconnection in a commitment. There is. And this is heart. This is heartache, heart pain. So there's, there's some sort of heartache here. You know what this is. You know exactly what this is. Your gut is telling you that this is not compatible. It's not meant to be. There's definitely some disharmony here. Uh, somebody has been uh, en engaging in negative patterns. Something is off. Something doesn't feel right. It feels like there's some sort of... Uh, I don't know, third party situation here. And I think that you know it. Now, there's, so it could be an onset of illness. Okay, somebody could get sick with this card. And there could be a loss. So somebody could get sick. They And, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, I think that you're going to be fine. Now, this is, I don't know what's going on. But that is, uh, you know, looks like that person is... is uh, paralyzed so I don't know what that means paralyzed you could use it as a metaphor um, but this is onset of illness with the temperance reverse because somebody is engaging in unhealthy patterns you know this is inappropriate behavior this is frustrated over a connection so somebody is frustrated there could be an argument here there definitely could be an argument with somebody that you know it's not it's just not peaceful it's not meant to be okay it's not meant to be Somebody is, is uh, there's some sort of chaos or something. Something could get turned upside down. Oh my God. Definitely unhealthy. Unhealthy, unhealthy. So this is a negative. This is like a setback and I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Okay. I can't, I can't make this up. And if anybody tries to, they're, they're full of shit. Okay. They're full of shit. Okay. Because this isn't, it's, 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 it's a sad situation. So this is sad. This is unhealthy and this is unhealthy. So there's an unhealthy connection. There's an unhealthy commitment. There's an unhealthy union here. And it's like God is saying that you have to deal with this separation and let it go. Uh, you do. You have to deal with it and you have to let it go. We have somebody here that is enjoying their power. This could be a narcissist. Okay, this person loves attention. Maybe getting attention from multiple women. You know, that could certainly be the case here. So the emperor in reverse is, uh, is somebody that is a tyrant. This is your narcissist energy who is entitled. This person um, is very controlling, very power hungry, loves attention. This person, uh, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, there's a big, huge loss here. There's a big, huge loss. Um, that is a big loss. It's unplanned. It's an unplanned um, situation. Ooh, I, somebody may be choosing to be single. Okay, totally unaware of what is about to happen. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But the um, the high priestess reversed is secrets being revealed. So I think there's there's been a third party situation. It, and I don't know who it is. It could be family members. It could be friends. Somebody has been hiding something. And the secret is revealed and causes a, a big, huge loss of some sort. Um, somebody wasn't planning for it to be revealed, but it does get revealed. Uh, with the high priestess reversed, uh, somebody hasn't been listening to any advice. They may have been dealing with a psychic or a tarot reader or a channeler or an empath and they didn't believe. They didn't believe in what this person was saying. They, you know, had, they weren't listening and now they're going to experience a loss. So, um, we have somebody here that's not very spiritual. They're not very awakened. They're definitely not listening to their intuition. Now there is a decision that is going to be made. Okay, this is a decision that is, is being made. We have somebody that is has done some sort of investigation. They're seeing the facts. This is an investigator, a lawyer, uh, uh, somebody in law enforcement, or you know, somebody that is very smart uh, and intelligent that uh, has sees something he sees the truth he sees the truth because the truth is coming out here it's been a secret somebody has been dealing with a very secretive individual this person is very secretive but now this it's like the truth this guy knows the truth he gets some sort of clarity he gets some sort of clarity and maybe he decides to desert a third party or desert you or something like that hmm now this is a decision being made based on the facts somebody in the truth and this is the truth coming out so there is some sort of truth that is going to be revealed that is going to cause something to be dropped okay something is going to be dropped um, one second I just gotta send a text real quick oh. one second I'm sorry. All right. Ooh, there's another woman. Somebody is, is talking to another woman. And this other woman may be the one that reveals it. She may get upset. She may be, this it could be a third party. She may get upset. She may say something. She may uh, throw a fit. So somebody may throw a fit because they're not getting attention. They're not getting what they want. Um, they may act hysterical. This person is jealous. So I think we have a jealous individual here that may may say something uh and it's 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 factual. It's facts. Okay, she's gonna she's she's gonna say something. She's gonna come out, and I think it's because she's not getting attention, and she likes to get attention. So I think we have a third party here that is going to throw a fit because she's not. Could be a Leo if you're dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. I do believe it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person likes attention. They like constant attention, and when they don't get attention, they demand attention. Very force forceful. Will force something. 
something. So I feel like we we do have another person here that is going to be upset that they're that they are not getting attention. It could be even an unplanned pregnancy. Okay, there could be an unplanned pregnancy here. This person um, just speaks up and tells the truth, and it causes an up causes an uproar. Just saying. Um, this could be another woman who, uh, acts in a malicious way because she's just not, uh, you know, she was used for sex. Looks like she was used for sex or something like that. And here comes the truth. So I don't know if that is your case or not, but it looks as though there is some sort of truth that is going to come out and it does involve another woman Okay, I think it does involve another woman. So be prepared to, uh, I mean, this is a huge loss. Now, this could be a financial loss as well. The Ace of Pentacles reverse could be a huge financial loss because somebody didn't act with integrity. Somebody didn't do the right thing. The Emperor in reverse is somebody who is very selfish and greedy and uh, under a lot of social pressure to be somebody that they are not, you know, to be the leader, to be the boss, and they just aren't really capable of it. This person is corrupt. So we do have a corrupt uh, boss, leader, father, husband here who has been socializing outside of his circle. And I feel like um, whoever this person is, somebody's going down. Somebody is going down. And there's a, you got to think about karma. Karma works in mysterious ways. So we have some negative patterns here that are probably about to be exposed or something like that. This is very unhappy, unhealthy behavior with these two cards. We have a disconnection within a union, and it's going to be painful. Okay, this is a painful... It could be a breakup here. There could be a breakup. There could be a split of some sort. Um, God or a higher power is involved. Okay. I think there's going to be a sudden departure with that Knight of uh, Wands we saw on the bottom. We have somebody here that has a chip on their shoulder. They think they can do whatever they want. And I feel like... Uh, we have some foolish behavior. It's funny because these kind of look a lot alike, don't they? We have foolish foolish behavior. So I feel as though you guys are about to uh, step into new territory. I think you've been struggling. You've been struggling uh, hanging on to something that isn't meant for you. You may have been trying to make something work, but now you see the truth. Something happens that um, paralyzes you, and it could be this coronavirus. It could be another person that speaks up. Something is ha There's a huge loss here. This huge loss teaches you a big life lesson because the temperance is a life lesson. But this one is reversed. This, this loss is going to help you to evolve. I think we have somebody here that is engaged in a lot of negative patterns and now they're going to you know, lose something um, very significant. It has to do with a partnership or a union or financial stability or something like that. Um... Now, the, the hangman reverse is refusing to go in and struggling to let go, obsessed with control. And the emperor reverse is somebody that is obsessed with control, not learning a lesson. So this is not learning a lesson. So I think we have somebody here that has been having a hard time learning a lesson, but something is going to happen that is going to force them to learn a lesson the hard way. Okay. Somebody's hiding something. They're hiding something. We have somebody here that has a very big ego. That's the meaning of this card and this card. So I think that there is, and I don't know if this is an investigator. It could be an investigator. I don't know if it's a private investigator or somebody in the law enforcement that is going to enforce something. I'm not sure what it is. Um, there's some sort of enforcement here that you did not see coming. You you did not see it coming. Um, maybe even be a probation officer or something, because this can be probation and this one can be too. Somebody's being watched and they don't know it. Somebody's been fighting change. 
but this is a new beginning. Somebody's been acting foolish, but this, this is freedom, freedom from something. This is freedom from, uh, this is the end of a chapter, right? This is at the end of a cycle, starting fresh, starting with a clean slate, leaving something behind, stepping into new territory taking a risk. I think we have somebody here that has engaged in risky behavior. They have engaged in risky behavior and now, you know, uh, with a third party and I feel, and I don't know if it, is there some sort of exchange here? Could be drugs, could be a bad, you know, it could be addictions. I don't know if there's been some unhealthy exchange and they get caught, you know, they're, they're being investigated and, uh, they get caught. I also feel like some of you are going to be stepping into a new life, a new a new beginning here. So this is a new beginning that happens after you leave something behind because this is starting from scratch but leaving something behind, okay? So you guys are going to be leaving something behind and stepping into new territory, moving, going someplace else. Something is going to happen spur of the moment where you are broken free. You are broken free from something that uh, wasn't stable, wasn't solid, wasn't going to grow, wasn't meant to be. So I feel like you guys are have been, you know, holding on to an unhealthy situation. It's been somebody's health is declining, and I think their health is declining rapidly. And I think their health is declining because, you know, if you think about this, this is God. This is God sees all. So, um, Pisces, I feel like uh, it's time for you to go because this is time for you to go. It's time for you to go someplace else. This could be the government. Okay, it could be the government making a decision. A judge, even. Definitely the highest authority. Um, I feel like there's somebody here that could that could end up... Um, I hate to say it, but going to jail. They move too fast. They're, they do something stupid and they get caught. And it could have to do with drugs. They're too careless. There's carelessness here. So Pisces, I feel like we have somebody that has been engaging in unhealthy behavior. And now we have, uh, I don't know, somebody could have a heart attack. This is extremes. Okay, this is extremes. They go overboard and they have a heart attack. Could be an overdose. So anyway, I feel as though there's a great big loss here. But this loss allows you to start on a new path and leave everything else behind. So this is actually a new beginning for you. We do have a masculine up here that is narcissistic. This narcissist is the one experiencing a loss. Good luck.